all right everybody welcome to your 35th google chrome extension development tutorial in which we'll be learning more about chrome.tabs.execute script which we started in the last one so in the last tutorial what we looked at is how to execute a block of code on the page user currently is on so <coughs> this looks cool but if you want to execute a lot of code then you have a problem then this method is not very much clean and let's say if you have like 400 to 500 lines to execute then this would be kinda clumsy and would not be very appropriate approach so to avoid this what we can do is we can execute a whole file on the page and with that we can create a separate file and we can execute that <coughs> so how to how do we do that is first of all create a new file where you will place your code let's say I'll call it script.js and in the background.js what you need to do is remove this code and make sure you keep it to null and <coughs> right here file and a semicolon not a sorry not a semicolon a column and inside quotes write the name of your file <coughs> So you see here, I have written chrome.tabs.execute script null, which gives me this script executed on the current tab, and this is the file name, which I am gonna execute. So even if I write like alert, this works, and I'm gonna write console.log, yes, or whatever you want, then <coughs> this would work. So let's take a look. Let's reload the extension first and Google as well so let's click here so you see I got an alert this works and probably in the console as well you see yes so <coughs> that's how you execute a file with chrome.tabs.execute script and it's kinda much handier than executing or just a one line code or just appending a lot of code in that one single line so that's it for this tutorial and I hope you learned something new from it and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you then.